Today on The Joy of Editing, I'll be using the new TK Gen Fill Panel to show you how we can get really great results when adding elements to our images using the percentage button feature found in the panel. You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, it's TK Gen Fill again today. Hey, don't forget the TK Gen Fill panel is totally free. Just click on my affiliate link in the description below. It'll take you to Tony Kuiper's web store where you can pick up the TK Gen Fill panel. And again, it is totally free. Today, I'll be working with this Adobe stock image. And it's a really cool image. Sometimes we have a picture like this image right here. You know what? It looks like kind of a stormy kind of a day. And wouldn't it be nice if we could have a nice little lightning bolt in here? I think that would be really cool. This looks like an old dilapidated barn here. So I thought, how about an old wooden fence right along here? I'll show you how we can add these elements and get better results with the TK Gen Fill panel over just using generative fill with Photoshop. And you'll see what I mean here. These percentage buttons starting at 5% up to 95%. I like to use these when I want to turn like say a photograph into more of like an oil painting or a painterly type look. It's great for that. But we can also use it for adding elements to images to get better results, which you'll see here. But first off, what I'll do is use Photoshop to add a lightning strike like right in this area right here. And I'll just use the uh, contextual taskbar for that. Okay, and here's my contextual taskbar right here. Now what I'll do is I'll make a selection. I'm gonna grab the marquee tool. I'm just typing M. And what I'll do is I'll just select an area like right in this area. This is where I want my lightning strike to be right here. And for generative fill, I'll just type in lightning. And we'll go ahead and click generate and see what kind of a result we can get here. And here's the result. Now, I didn't make you wait the entire time. It takes about 20 to 25 seconds, depending on your internet connection, because this all happens up in Adobe's cloud. But there's our lightning bolt. Now, you get three choices here. Here's our first one. And if we click this arrow right here, here's our second. And here's our third. And I think the best one is like this one here. Like this first one is really over the top and very unnatural. In fact, they all don't look that great in my opinion, but this one looks the best. So we'll go with this one for now. Now I could generate again. And let me just go ahead and shut this layer off. Right now we can use generative fill totally as much as we want, but coming I believe it is November 1st, we're going to be given credit. So every time we use generative fill, we'll be using a credit. And you can see up on the screen right now the different uh, plans and the amount of credits that you get. So you can pause the video and check that out. But here's the thing. We want to save as much on credits as we can. And it is my hope that the TK Gen Fill Panel will possibly help us to save on using not quite as many credits by using this method I'll show you today. So right now, it's a good idea to get used to working with the TK Gen Fill Panel and see how it works. And this way, when November 1st rolls around, you'll have a pretty good idea if the TK Gen Fill Panel will help you to use less credits. And what I mean by that is if we're using the contextual taskbar, and I'll turn this layer on again, and we're getting these kind of results... You know, and we're like, we keep trying and trying and you may never get the right results. So you, every time you click generate, you're using up a credit. So with TK Gen Fill, once you get a handle on how these percentage buttons work, my hope is that using this method, it will take less amount of tries to get a satisfactory result. All right, I'm going to shut this layer off again. Now we're going to work with the TK Gen Fill panel. Now I recommend that you start out at about 50%. And then once you work with it, you'll, you'll get a better idea of where you need to start out. But I'm going to start out at 50%. We'll, we'll do a couple of tries here and see how things work. So let me click on 50%. Now, this next step is important. You'll notice the panel shows us we have a selection. See the colored line around here? That means we have a selection. Now, what we need to do is get a selection tool. And I'm going to use the marquee tool. So I'm going to type M for the marquee tool. But what I need to do, and this is very important, and hear me out here. If you look up here in the menu for the marquee tool, 
see this button right here this is for intersection so click this or you could hold down your shift and option key to get an intersection and you see that little x there this is very important or this won't work you need to intersect this okay so what i'm going to do is draw a marquee right around this area right here again and it says warning no pixels are more than 50 percent selected that's okay just click a okay and over at the prompt type in lightning and then we'll click generate and right there you can see that looks pretty good i don't like this lightning right here but let's click the right arrow here on TK Genfield. Here's our second result. Now that's not that good, that's yellow. And here's our third result. That one's not too bad, but I'll tell you what, it's blended a lot better. So 50% was probably a little too strong. Now I'm gonna go to 40%. So I'm gonna click on 40%. And now what I need to do, I have a selection here, right? With that marquee tool. And right now I'm still in intersect. I'm gonna shut this layer off, by the way. And now I'm going to make another selection right here. Now remember I'm at 40% and you've got to use that intersect and you're gonna get this warning here. Just click okay and we'll generate again and see if we get a better result this time. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's a single strike. Let's go to the second option. That looks pretty good and here is our third option. Now that one looks really good. But let's compare that. Let me shut this layer off with this one. See how strong that is? To me, that looks just over the top. It's, it's not bad, but it's over the top. Let me shut this off and let's go back to this one. So you can see, I think this one looks much more natural. So I started out at 50%, then I went down to 40%. But as you play around and experiment, you'll find a number that really works out well for you that is a good starting point. Like I always like to start out at 50%, but I find sometimes you can go back in these lower percentage numbers and try that out as well. So in this case, I think 40% works. If you're wondering how these percentage buttons work, you may want to pause the video and read this excerpt from the manual that comes with the TK Gen Fill panel. It'll help you to have an idea of what is actually going on with these percentage buttons. Now, what we're going to do next is add a, like an old wooden fence over in this area here. Every now and then you're gonna have one of your images where it could just use a little something extra in there just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. And this is where Gen Feel really comes into play. And I think a old wooden fence will really spruce up this area right here just to play off of this dilapidated barn. So I'm gonna grab a lasso tool. I'm just typing L to get my lasso tool. But what I'm going to do is we're gonna figure out a value here and we can reset this panel if you click this button right here. So just click this button, you'll reset the panel. And I'm gonna try, we'll, we'll start at 50%. I think a lower value will be better, but let's start at 50%. No, let's not do that. Let's start right here. Let's go ahead and use uh, Photoshop's contextual taskbar. So I'm just gonna draw like an area where a fence would be like maybe right around this area right here. And in generative, fill i'll type in old wooden fence and we'll go ahead and click generate and see what kind of a result we get okay and there's our result and it's okay but it kind of doesn't look right does it now let's ramp through these and see the second one okay so you see that how that really is not working you know and let's try the third one okay that's probably the best of the bunch so we'll leave that one and now we'll go ahead and shut this layer off and see what we can do by using percentages. I'll start out at 50% again, so I'll click on the 50% button and you'll notice you're gonna have a selection. See the colored line around the panel? And now remember, you must intersect. Make sure you click this intersect button and then we're just gonna draw a selection around this area right in here. And warning, click OK, that's not a problem. And now here we're gonna type in old wooden fence and we'll click generate. Okay, now look at that, that looks pretty darn good. Now let's look at the second one, so we'll click right here. There's the second one. See how that blends in so much better? And now here's the third. I really like the third as well. I probably like this one the best. Let's try it again, I'll shut this layer off. This time, I'm gonna to go to 40%, so I'll click on 40%, and you can see I have a selection here. Old wooden fence is still there, or old wood fence. I didn't type wooden, I typed wood. Okay, so anyway, I gotta still come over here and make sure you have intersection on, and I'll, again, I'll just draw 
where I want my fence to go, somewhere like maybe right around in this area. And we'll click OK for the warning and we'll click generate again and see what we get. And there's our result at 40%. So there's our first result, pretty good. Here's our second, nice. And here's our third. I like that one too. Which one do you like the best? I think I kinda like that one, or do I like the first one? Nah, I think I like that. Let's go back to the previous one, this guy right here. I did like that one. Okay, so 50% worked really well there. And there's even some fence right up into here. So that really blends in well. So I think 50% was the way to go. Let me show you what else we can do with the gen fill panel. Right now I'm on the top layer, the one at 40%. Say I don't want this one. It's the active layer. You can click the trash can and that layer goes away, right? Now this layer right here has three generations in it, right? If you want to, you can click rasterize and that'll just bring it down to just the actual fence image that we have now. So that saves you a lot of space. Now we could come, let's shut this one off and let's look at the original at 100% that I used with the contextual taskbar. So let's turn it on. But as you can see, that does not look that good. And that was the best result I got. But if you compare that, I'll shut this off with this. You can see that is far superior. And this fence element and this lightning really adds to me. A couple little elements really makes this image it takes it over the top, in my opinion. If we don't want this layer here, we can go ahead and make it active. And we can still use this trash can to get rid of it because we don't need all these extra layers in here, right? And, and this is the uh, lightning layer that we liked. So we like that. So we can come to this layer and we can click rasterize and go ahead and rasterize that and save space. I don't need this layer and I don't need this layer. I can hold my shift key down and get both of these layers and click this trash can and they go away so I can clean up the image. And I know what some of you are thinking, Dave, you wrote old wood fence. You didn't write old wooden fence. So I'll try this contextual taskbar again with old wood fence and see what kind of result we get. But first I'll shut this layer off. Now I still have my lasso tool. It's still on the intersect mode. It doesn't really matter. It won't make an intersection, but I'll click on the first button but you don't really have to, and we'll just lasso around an area in here. Like this, and this time I'll type old wood fence, and I'll click generate. Now it's generating at 100%. Okay, and there's my result. It's not bad, but it just doesn't quite blend in properly. Let's try the next result. Okay, again, see how light it is? It doesn't really blend, and let's try the last result. Okay, and again, not bad, but not great. Because if we compare it, let me shut this layer off with this. You can see this just really fits into the scene much better. And I believe that was the one I did at 50%. So again, we'll compare it to this. Okay, so that was one version. Here's another version. And here's another version. And I think this one was the best. But again, if I shut this off and compare it to this, I don't think there's any comparison. So this layer is active. I can click the trash can, but you got to give this TK Gen fill panel a try. Just click on my affiliate link in the description below and you can grab the TK Gen fill panel and try it out if you haven't yet. Let's take a look at the before and after. So here's what it looks like without any elements. And now here's what it looks like with both the elements, the fence and the lightning. But I think you'll agree that it definitely helps this image out. I think it looks much more interesting. Well, there it is, everyone. Hey, if you tried out the TK Gen Fill Panel, let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And make sure you click on all for all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.